Penny Penny, retold by Bonnie Dobkin, illustrated by Sean Atkin. Penny Penny. Henny Penny lived with her friends in a wonderful kingdom of forest, meadows, and ponds. It was a perfect place, as you could imagine, unless you were Henny Penny. One morning, Henny Penny was talking with her friend, Ducky Lucky. The sun was shining and the sky was blue. Breezes played with the leaves on the trees. Why, what a perfect day, said Ducky Lucky. Because, yes, said Henny Penny. I just hope it doesn't get too hot or too windy. Because, oh my goodness, what if it rains? Ducky Lucky shook his head. Quiet, you worry too much. Why don't you go look for something to eat? Oh, all right, sighed Henny Penny. I suppose I can hunt for some nice crunchy bugs. So Henny Penny wandered down the road, picking and flicking and pecking and checking. Finally, she stopped under an old oak tree. Bugs and grubs were everywhere. Well, those look tasty cook, said Henny Penny. I only hope I don't get sick from eating too much. McCock. Just then, the wind puffed through the branches of the oak tree. It loosened an acorn. The acorn fell straight down and clunk, clunk, it hit Henny Penny on the head. Ouch! McCock, cried Henny Penny. What was that? She looked around but didn't see anything. My goodness, McCock, the sky must be falling. I must go and tell the king, McCock. Was the sky falling, friends? What hit Henny Penny on the head? A seed? Henny Penny fluttered back down the road. Soon, she passed the pond where her friend was still swimming. Quiet, what's wrong? asked Ducky Lucky. Henny Penny didn't even stop. The sky is falling, McGawk! The sky is falling, I must go and tell the king, McGawk! Quiet, are you sure? asked Ducky Lucky. I remember when you lost a feather and you thought your wing was coming off. Well, look at this bump on my head, McCock, said Henny Penny. I tell you, the sky is falling. Well, I'll come with you then, said Ducky Lucky, and he jumped out of the pond. Soon they came upon Turkey Lurkey, who was gobbling berries from a bush. What's the matter, he asked. Why are you running? falling, cried Henny Penny and Ducky Lucky. We must go and tell the king. Are you sure, asked Turkey Lurkey. I remember when you... Ducky Lucky, believes me, said Henny Penny. Besides, just look at this bump on my head. Well, said Turkey Lurkey, if you have a bump and Ducky Lucky believes you, then it must be true. He spit out the berries and joined them. Next, they saw Goosey Lucy arranging some twigs in her nest. What's the matter, she said. Why are you running? Because the sky is falling, cried Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, and Turkey Lurkey. We must go and tell the king. Are you sure? asked Goosey Lucy. I remember. Look, look at this bump on my head, said Henny Penny. I tell you, the sky is falling. Well, said Goosey Lucy, if you have a bump and Ducky Lucky believes you and Turkey Lurkey has joined you, then it must be true. And she began waddling beside them as fast as she could. 
The four friends were nearing the forest. Cocky Locky was roosting on a tree branch, practicing his crow. Cock a doodle doo! What's the matter? he asked. Why are you guys running? The sky is falling, cock! cried Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, Turkey Lurkey, and Goosey Lucy. We must go and tell the king! Are you sure? asked Cocky Locky. Cock, look at this bump on my head, said Henny Penny. The sky is definitely falling. Well, said Cocky Locky, if you have a bump, and Ducky Lucky believes you, and Turkey Lurkey has joined you, and Goosey Lucy says it's so, then it must be true. And he fluttered down from the branch. Now the five friends hurried into the forest. They had gone only a little way when Foxy Loxy stepped out from a cluster of trees. Oh my, he said. You all look so distressed. Whatever is the matter? The sky is falling, cried Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, Turkey Lurkey, Goosey Lucy, and Cocky Locky. We must go and tell the king. Why, of course you must, said Foxy Loxy. Listen, listen, my friends. I know the king very well. And I also know a shortcut to the palace. So follow me. There isn't a moment to lose. Friends, would you follow Foxy Loxy on his shortcut? Mm. The fox led them further into the woods, down a twisty, turning trail. Are we almost there? Asked Henny Penny. Almost, said Foxy Loxy. But oh dear, you all look so tired. Should we stop at my den for a moment? A den is a home for a fox. You can meet my family and rest for a while. Oh, Brock, yes, please, said Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, Turkey Lurkey, Goosey Lucy, and Cocky Locky. Friends, should birds go visit a fox? in his home. What might happen if birds go into a fox's house? Right this way, said Foxy Loxy. As they walked, he told them about his lovely wife, Roxy Loxy, and he told them about the four little Loxies, Moxy, Soxy, Poxy, and Doxy. What he didn't tell them was that all five were sitting around the dinner table waiting for Foxy Loxy to bring home dinner. Well, well, here we are, said Foxy Loxy, stopping in front of a low rock ledge. He bowed and waved his arm toward a dark opening underneath. And Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, Turkey Lurkey, Goosey Lucy, and Cocky Locky all marched down into the fox's den. Now two things didn't happen after that. The sky did not fall and no one went to see the king. But Foxy Loxy's family still talk about the wonderful bird feast that they had that day. Look at Foxy Loxy and his family. I wonder why their bellies are full. Foxy Loxy's child has a bone in his mouth. I wonder where that bone came from. The end.